Today we're going to expand our current test to cover all of the user login and logout functionality. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I have my virtual environment activated, so if I run python test.py, run the test suite. So we're getting two failures. And if you look at the output here, you can see that we're testing whether this string here, you need to log in first, is part of the response object. And you can also see down here, this string here, so we should be asserting whether this string is actually part of the response. So since these tests were passing before we implemented the Flask login extension, something changed, obviously. So if we jump to the code here, project users use.py. So we added this custom login required decorator which is provided by Flask login. If we jump to the Flask source code here, you can see that the default login message is please log in to access this page. So when we test those decorated routes with the login required decorator with a user that's not logged in, the request is routed to the login required function, which then will flash this message. So to fix the test, we can either update the default login message for a flash login or update the test themselves. And let's go with the latter since that's much easier. So if we jump to the code here, open up our test.py file, we need to change these two tests here. We need to update the string in there. So let me just copy the string here. Perfect. Okay, next let's refactor a test slightly to make the code more readable. And let's start by creating a separate class called users use test. That's gonna hear it from the base test case. Okay. And as the name indicates, we're going to include the tests associated with the user's blueprint here. So let's go ahead and move the relevant tests over. So this stays, this goes, this goes, this goes, this goes. Okay, so grab everything here. And is there anything else? Yes, one more here. Okay, all right, so next, let's figure out if we're testing all of the functionality contained within our views.py file, which is part of the user's blueprint. So I can tell you right now that we pretty much are. We could go through these functions with a fine tooth comb, but there's actually a nice Python package that will do that for us called coverage, which we'll look at in, the, in a future video. For now, let's just test some of the functionality added by Flask login, and we can add these asserts to our current tests. So first, after user logins, let's assert that the user we log in with is the same as the user actually logged in. And there's a nice helper function provided by Flask login called current user that we can use to help with this. So let's add the test to this test correct login. So self.assert true. Let's test that the current user, current user's name is admin. And we need to grab that helper. So from flask, we can import that current user. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so we're getting this attribute error here. So why is that? So basically the current user method 
must be accessed within the request context. However, when this self.client.post completes the request, the request object is torn down. So we need to preserve that context. Let's turn to the Flask docs real quick. It's really this section here that is the information that we need. And basically, Flask test client is a context manager. And so by using a with statement, we can keep the context around for as long as we need to. So in other words, we ensure that the response object isn't cleaned up until the end of the with statement code block. So let me show you what that looks like in the code. So it's at a with statement here with self client. And we can go ahead and tab everything over here. Now let's test this out. And it passes. Cool. So in that same test, let's also ensure that the user is active. And if you look at the user model here, is active should return true. So we can do self.assert true. And the current user and it is active. All right, let's test this out, and it passes. Okay, finally, let's do the opposite. Let's test that when a user is not logged in, that is active returns false. So we can add this to this test logout. So self dot assert this time we're going to assert false and again let's add that with statements so with self dot client tab everything over here okay and now we can test again awesome all right, so with that, we're now finished with the user login and logout functionality of our application. So next time, we're going to look at the next piece of the user's blueprint, user registration. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.